Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. It's February 29th, leap year. Do you actually know what that means? Do you know why we have a leap year? Because a year is not exactly 365 days long. It's 365 days and six hours long. That's how long it takes for the earth to go around the sun. So you have that extra six hours. So what they do is they just take that six hours, add it up over four years, six times four equals 24, which makes a day. And then every four years you get an extra day, which is February 29th, today. So I thought it would be a great day to talk about leaping, right? Because we all want to make this leap forward. We all want to improve. We all want to advance our lives somehow. And I think people go about it the wrong way. Yes, myself included sometimes. And this is the journey that I'm on now is learning how to take really small leaps. Quantum leaps. But well, wait a minute, Tim, isn't a quantum leap like this huge leap forward? Isn't it a leap to some place that you've never been before? No, it's not. People misinterpret the word quantum. So if quantum doesn't mean huge, what does it actually mean? Well, it's just about the smallest measurement there is. It's the smallest unit of energy that can be measured, and it's basically the smallest uh, physical particle size that can be measured. It's about as small as it gets, all right? So a quantum leap is not this gigantic leap forward. It's the tiniest leap forward. The word quantum leap really refers to an electron moving to either a higher or lower energy state. Okay, it either moves into an outer orbit around a nucleus or it moves into a, an inner orbit around a nucleus. And when it does so, it either gains or loses energy. That's a quantum leap. It's a very, 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 very tiny amount. Okay? In fact, if you see the distance between my fingers right now, it's probably several trillion times smaller than that. That's how far a quantum leap is. But a lot of energy is given off during that leap. When these electrons change uh, energy states, when they move from one orbit to the next, they give off or absorb a lot of energy. The mistake that most people make in life when they make these giant leaps, these are not quantum leaps. They're what I call quantum leaps. Q-U-O-N-D-A-M. A quantum leap. What does quantum mean? It means formerly or of the past. It's a Latin word. And what most people are trying to do is get back their youth get back their former glory, get back the safety of childhood, get back their ideal weight, get back whatever it is that they had in the past that they look in the mirror and don't see anymore. This is why we take these leaps, because we want to be who we used to be. So we take a quantum leap, trying to regain our past, trying to go backwards. Time doesn't go backwards. It only goes forwards. So whenever you make a leap that's about trying to get back who you used to be, it's usually not based on reality. It's based on some fantasy. And this is why these types of things fail. Diets fail. Exercise programs fail. Relationships fail. Because we're trying to live into a past in the future. But the past is back there. The future is up there. And it's, they're unrelated if you haven't figured that out yet. <clears throat> and I liken it to the Grand Canyon. Most people, when they go on a diet, whether it be to lose weight or a raw diet or a vegan diet, they walk up to the edge of the Grand Canyon, they spread their arms out, and they jump. And they say, I'm going raw! And then they splat on the canyon floor, and it's really ugly, and they run screaming back, if they survive, to everybody that they know and say, a raw diet doesn't work. A vegan diet doesn't work. Running doesn't work. There's just injuries everywhere, you know? These things, you're going to be deficient in iron and protein and B12, and or running is going to destroy your body. Because they took this giant quantum leap. Rather than taking tiny, 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 but very energy-packed quantum leaps. 
There's another way to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, a much safer route. It's called the Bright Angel Trail, <clears throat> where you can actually walk uh, many miles down to the base. It'll take you half the day, but you'll get to the bottom. You have some great stories to tell. You'll have seen some beautiful views. You'll have taken tons of pictures, way too many pictures. And you'll be alive. And you'll hang out and you'll be checking out the Colorado River and looking up at the rim and saying, wow, holy cow. And you got there by taking these little tiny steps, quantum leaps. How do you get better as a runner? Tiny, tiny, tiny incremental improvements. How do you transition safely to a raw diet or a vegan diet? Tiny, tiny, tiny increments. Quantum leaps. Little baby steps that are energy packed. Little baby steps that are full of purpose, that are full of determination, that are full of excitement and passion, enthusiasm. Okay? When you're taking tiny steps, they're not that scary. It's scary to walk up to the edge of the Grand Canyon and jump off. You're going to fail. It's not going to end well. But it's not nearly as scary to walk down the trail. Because even though you're falling on every step that you take down that trail, you're only falling two inches. You can't take a step without falling two inches. A quantum leap. One tiny step for me, one giant step for my life. So get excited about little baby quantum leaps and forget about the past. Don't try to be your past. Be a brand new future, okay? I got some deep snow waiting for me. I'll see you soon.